Now, you probably don't realize this, but there was a study back, I believe it was in 2009, and it showed that eight out of 10 Americans have a phytonutrient gap, which means that essentially 80% of us are just not getting enough in the way of phytonutrients. And if you look at all the different colors of foods, the one that they're getting the least of is blue-purple. 88% of Americans do not get enough of blue-purple compounds from pigments. Now, this is relevant because each of the colors of the rainbow correspond to certain body organs and certain structures and functions. So if we're missing something like blue-purple, it's really going to impact us from a physiological point of view. Now, blue-purple just happens to be synced up with things like the brain. And what we know about blue-purple compounds like the proanthocyanidins is that they seem to be active for helping us with learning and memory. So now imagine that your patient doesn't get enough blue-purple. What about their learning and their memory, which seem to be really specifically driven into these blue-purple compounds? This is why we want them to eat the rainbow. It's not just because they're just antioxidants. You know, and that's such a 1990s word, antioxidant. We need to look at phytonutrients within the breadth of how they're now being recognized in the science and what they can do for our patients clinically.